August 30th, 2016, and we're in the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio, USA, and I've got my mutated Roma type tomatoes. This is uh, definitely the normal one. This is the Abbey normal one. And there's a couple plants. This is a Roma type. My dad calls it Rudy Roma, named after the neighbor that we got it from. But these, look at the clusters, are just amazing. Uh, it's a very big Roma, and it actually tastes really nice too. But look at this mutation. I'm going to pull them off and then slice them up. And this is on the same cluster. Look at the size of that Roma. It's as big as my hand. Actually, it looks like there's two Romas in one on that. Here's the second Roma. This is another Rudy Roma. But this one is definitely, you can kind of see the two separate tomatoes but they're melded together. They're conjoined. Looks like a big heart. And on the same plant, you have a normal one. Here's a couple more I found on a third plant. These aren't ripe yet. They almost look like peppers. But these are tomatoes. Alright, it's been a couple days since I picked them. They're just starting to rot. Put them in the fridge, but let's dissect them. But let's get a little bit closer so we can see what's going on over here. With this on the side. So here's the normal Roma. Let's cut this in half. Now that's what it looks normally. It looks looks like three separate little chambers. Now this one right here, it's definite. It's on the same stem, and it looks like it's more than two of them put together. It looks like a bunch of them. Like there's one, two, three, four, five. But let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. I was right. Okay, if there's normally three chambers, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think I was right. Twelve divided by three is four. So you could see it in that shadow here, all these ridges. We have like five tomatoes. Normally what would be one tomato. Now that's very interesting. I didn't think we would have that many in one tomato. And actually I'm going to save these seeds to grow next year. Bring this one over. Now this one definitely you could see it's two tomatoes that are conjoined. Wow, it almost looks like there's three of them actually in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So definitely you could see if this is a normal. I think there's three in this one. One, two, 
and this center one got squished. Okay, now let's take this green one. Here's another one. And I think this one actually would have grew into a couple also. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's definitely maybe more than two of them in there. Alright, so in conclusion, I would eat a normal tomato. And this is why I grow tomatoes, because they're only worth growing them when they're in season. Now, these other ones are definitely mutated tomatoes and I don't think I would eat this tomato this would be like if a chicken had three wings instead of one would you eat it knowing that it was mutated a mutant I wouldn't so as long as the environment gets more polluted we'll be getting more uh, mutant produce Now these tomato produce is what I would consider a uh, plant cancer and the offspring of these plants are mutated. Now the DNA has been damaged. Now would you eat this? I don't know if it's safe to eat this stuff. What happens when you're body digests DNA from plants that have been mutated. I don't know, can it cause cancer in humans? Or does it just go through us without affecting us? Remember, everything that we eat becomes part of us through that nutrition and the elements and nutrition and everything that's in the food that we're eating, that digestion. I don't know if I would take a chance. Would you eat it? I don't think I would. I bet you the farmers would love it because you would have two times the amount of produce than a normal tomato plant. But although with some being normal and some being mutated on the same plant I don't know what that means or what that says about the plant alright this is a second location this is actually my garden and here's a tomato that I was growing here's another type of mutation I noticed it showed up down in here see that little line in there that's two stems of the tomato that grew together normally that's a normal tomato. See how it's round? This one, if you follow it up, you see a better melding of it. And here's the tomatoes behind the tomatoes. See that? Okay, now these tomatoes are all on the same plant, but the same stem on there I'm pretty sure here's the second stem coming up in here but if you look at this one this is a perfect tomato see how the bottom ugh, it looks like a star that's like a perfect tomato it's round but if you look at the one down in here see how it's, it's not like a star it's kind of like a galaxy and then this one is the same it's not a perfect star kinda and then if you look at this one which is on the same stem this one's all messed up a 
but that's all coming from the stem that's mutated follow it up move the tomato and there's the fasciated stems these tomatoes are actually coming off of that fasciation and then it keeps going and it produces that one then the perfect one is on a totally different stem so there's another type of mutation this is a, a stem mutation instead of a fruit mutation <laughs> 